Hello and welcome to my Bruce Lee K1 channel. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Struve is one year his senior. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a 12-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, 13 losses. He stands seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body out of Beaverwick, the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper And now, can you see his opponent fighting out of the red corner? This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, he heard a bad jab. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. And he landed the right hand there. 
right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Look at the turnover in that kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just misses there with the left. Through this strike attempt, there is blocked. Over and over, he landed on a big body kick. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Nice. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by the skyscraper, Stephen Struve. Blue head kick lands to hurt. Lands flush with that right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by this guy's way for Stephen Stewart. Nice kick. Slips the punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Finish. Landed a big kick there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Big body kick. See him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. The next with a right. Back to the jab now. No good. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Struve. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Punches Oh, counters with an overhand to the head, and certainly a little bit easier to get inside when you've got the reach advantage. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch by Lee. Big head kick. Nice knee to the body there by the skyscraper, Stefan Struve. Right. Good job, good job. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? 
As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll, so he'll change his stance. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Those fighters exchange in the pocket here. Head kick is blocked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Pretty good right hand. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Struve lands a jab there. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Nice body kick. Oh, big punch land. He went back to the well with that hook to the body. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, pinpoint jab to the head on the counter for him. And again, he's the longer fighter. It's going to be easier for him to counter than his opponent. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. That's a big strike right there. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard DC and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Big head kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body. Nasty. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Powerful leg kick lands. Strew gets back up. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Dig and kick. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice punch lands. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. You better get that elbow down or he's gonna keep blasting those body kicks right to your ribs. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Head kick. Big kick lands. He's just cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Drew's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Fifteen seconds to go. Drew gets absolutely melted by that head kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ten We're minutes in like the books. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. 
early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice strike. Oh, head kick blocked by Stroop. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after, he may be able to finish his fight. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Ooh, what a punch. Home, and now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Ooh, blocks the shot. Body kick now by Stroop. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Look at him whip his hip to that kick. Just a slip there. Beautiful. Drew gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Ooh, big shot man. is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Stroop's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice body kick right under the elbow. That was good again. Nice fight. They continue to exchange. Great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Effective strike there by Stroop. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Beautiful punch. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. 
Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. What a tricky head kick. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on both of them? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. There, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip the head at a moment's notice. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Still nice body kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Strew's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Loaded up this man, too. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, big head kick lands. What a body kick. Back and forth we go. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. That was lightning fast, that right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Way to hide that leg ball. Effective strike there by Stroop. Well, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Liver kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, that'll ring the bell. Head kick. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Struve gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Two minutes now to go. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Well timed knee to the body. Yet again, finding the right distance and range and landing another punch. He's got a decided reach advantage in this one. Good punch. Big body kick. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Let him go. Let those hands go. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Counter left. Beautiful body kick. And that 
one left hook landed on the button. Uh, look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right hand on point. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Nice head kick. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is gonna have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is underway, and both fighters right, still look guys, pretty fresh to me, DC. Maybe, maybe they're doing your sprint workouts for the training camp. Or I mean, these guys are known for working very, very hard. Both of them make cardio a very key factor in their preparation, and it's showing on both sides of the octagon. Great punch. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Strew. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Body he lands right under the elbow. Outstanding kick there by the skyscraper, Stefan Struve. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Back to the feet now. Struve gets caught with that punch. So the head strike starting to pile up. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice straight there by Lee. Big kick land. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Watch the punch. Nice loop and punch. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Wow. Visibly limping here. Oh, just misses with the kick. Counters with a left. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice head kick. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Big kick lands. Some nice back and forth action here. Throws the right hand there. Looking to land the right just out of range. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big head kick. Big power shot there. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Able to check that kick as well. Big kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, there's the head kick. Looks like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Strew. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Big kick land.
take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. That strike blocked by Strew. Lands the right hand. Kick to the body by Lee. Under a minute now to go in this one. Real sneaky body kick. Oh. Nice straight punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Clean with the right hook. Nice punch there. Leg kick. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Stefan Scars Frankfurt. All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah.